Senator's gay nephew. <laughs> I think that's probably pretty accurate. Uh, I, uh, I have this kind of face because uh, my father is Canadian uh, and my mother is a mannequin, so uh, it makes sense. Um, I'm a millennial and I hear a lot of criticism about millennials. People will be like, oh man, millennials, millennials never buy books. Millennials aren't buying books anymore. Your generation doesn't buy books. And I, uh, my response to that is obviously. Right? Like, why would I go to a store and buy a book when I could just go to my house, go online, and download porn? You know? Like, <laughs> I got shit to do, you know? No time for reading when you're beaten, right? That's what I say. You know? <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, like I said, I'm a millennial, 20 years old, so obviously I had to get a fake ID. That says I'm 17, so I can still get to teen clubs, you know? Get my groove on that way. It's kind of my thing, being like 20 Spanish kids, you know? Um, yeah, bellowing laugh. I like that. It's like fucking wildebeest coming. Um, I, uh, no, I actually had to use a fake ID for real the other day. I, a buddy of mine was like, hey man, we're going to go out. I have a friend that looks just like you. You'll use his ID. It'll be great. So I got it, we showed up at the bar, and uh, this is the thing you don't realize, uh, you have to study the ID a little bit. There's like some prerequisites that you should know, and I didn't know that. So I gave the uh, bouncer my ID, he looked at my ID, looked back at me, looked back at my ID, and he said, uh, what's your zip code? Shit. So I looked at him and I said, nah. Which, here's the thing, nah is not my zip code, for anyone that's not following along. Uh, he was like, dude, I'm pretty sure this is a fake ID. And I was like, alright, you caught me, alright? You're right, it is fake, but can I just, like, hang out for a little bit if I promise not to drink? And he just brought me in real close, and he just whispered at me, and he goes, nah. <laughs> oh shit okay whatever so I went, the buddy I went with was like I was like dude you go in I'll head back home no problem okay fast forward to the next morning I'm with a friend of mine and uh, my buddy Keaton that I went out that I was supposed to go out with that night ended up getting super hammered alone with no one got picked up by police and got brought to a drunk tank just to kind of sleep it off for the night and so he calls my friend that morning he's like yo I need you to get me out of here I'm in a think tank he kept calling it a think tank for like five hours. He was like, dude, I'm in this think tank. I gotta get out of here. I'm fucked. So then my buddy turned to me, got off the phone. He was like, Mark, I think Keaton's at a TED Talk right now. We gotta... He's at like a Tony Robbins conference. We gotta get him out of there. So I just grabbed the phone and I was like, hey, nah. So there you go. That was the time that... Uh... I don't drink that much. That's the thing. You'd be surprised. Uh, I'm not much for getting drunk, because the only time I ever got drunk, I blacked out. Uh, I had what they call four loco. Are you... Do you not like my jokes? You're right. I'll drive you home. Okay. Now that... Are you staying there? You guys are both going? No, please. Oh, no, please. No, please stay. Are you getting no, no, come on, please stay for the show. Mom, we're flirting, come on. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Let's go. Bye. Do you guys want to buy a ride? Thank you. Love you. You're awesome. No, please stay. What are we going to do without you? No. Bye. Oh, no, come on. Finally, we can loosen up, right? Jeez, let's get a round of applause for that, huh? Woo! That's great. Um, uh, one last story from my childhood. Uh, I think the way that we punish kids is stupid. I had a buddy growing up. Um, he, His dad caught him smoking cigarettes in his room. And as a punishment, he made him smoke the whole pack of cigarettes. Which is a punishment that I've never understood. Apparently this happens to a lot of people, and I this has never dawned on me is why this is a good idea. 
And I would love to see this played out in like our justice system today. You know? They'd be like, the defendant has been found guilty of first degree murder and will be sentenced to killing the whole jury. That's uh they all like run away. That's uh that's what I'd like to see. <laughs> He told me that. I was like, dude, all right, whatever you do, don't let him catch you having sex in the locker room. He's going to make you fuck the whole football team. That's, you don't want that. All right, thank you guys a lot. Give it up for CeCe Redmond, the best host, the hostess with the most of